All right, Shalom. First off, for to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Simi Awashah, by Sim Rakak with us. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I'm going to go on this topic of uh, you can't blame the so called white man for, for everything or, or all of your problems. Okay, um, and I say that because um, there was a, a guy who was a, a co-worker of mine and um, he basically said that, you know, he was an older guy, he was like 58 or something like that, you know, he, he, he was telling me, hey, when I was in, when I was around your age, I was into all that stuff that you was uh, into. You know, so um, it got to the point where uh, he said he was telling about, you know, something that happened to him that like he thought like opened up his eyes and stuff like that. So um, he said basically he had a near death um, experience, and um, he, he he in his eyes he woke up. Because he was mad at the world and um, had all this hatred for the so-called white man. And, and he realized that <laughs> the so-called white man wasn't his enemy anymore. So basically, he was blaming the white man for, for all of his problems. And um, like, you can't do that and it's true. Okay? You got a lot of people out here that are, that are walking around is if the um, so-called white man Esau himself okay came down and did all these terrible things onto you personally okay and this truth that's not what this 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 truth is about this truth ain't no and is is not about um, banging on Esau all day okay you got a lot of a lot of uh, guys out here who just go out there and they just make it every Edomite that, that walks by they have a, a super personal um, thing um, with them okay and um, you first off you don't know whether that's an Edomite or not you know you have to try the spirit but more often than not you just have guys that get out of their spirit when an Edomite walks by Okay, so John 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. And this is your Hawasa uh, uh, speaking. Okay? So in this truth, we supposed to have peace in Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Because though we know that the so called white man is the devil and he, he deceived everybody, okay, we're talking about the, e the biblical, the Edomites, okay? We know that these people are, are the wicked that the Lord made. But at the end of the day, we supposed to have peace in Yahweh Bashim Yahusah because we're, we're trying to follow the Lord and, and keep what he said. Okay, it says, In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Okay? So, in this world, yeah, you're going to have situations of racism, okay, from from the so-called white man, uh, them ruling over us and stuff like that, but guess what, Yahweh overcame all those things, okay, because America is nothing but the Roman Empire all over again, okay, and if Yahweh did these things, why can't you, so a lot of people, they come into this truth, and they, uh, they don't they don't get the, the the whole thing okay eating the whole roll yeah you know we we Esau is a, is a major problem he's one of the reasons why our people um went off in the first place when you go deep into the spirit but a man that doesn't have any understanding you just gonna come into this thing and thinking that it's, this is a, a carnal um battle okay the scriptures I'm gonna get that. Okay, 
the spirit spirit rose. Okay. Ephesians six and twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So your beef ain't with that regular Edomite that that that's walking down the street, okay? That that is enjoying his heaven. Okay, yeah, this is their heaven. They enjoy it. You know, they, we tell them to, to enjoy it to the fullest. Okay? But, but, no, nothing that you do on any level, okay, is going to stop the, the, the major problem of our people being oppressed. Okay? This is, this is the system that the Lord made up. So, Romans 13 and 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Okay? For there is no power but of, yeah, of God. Okay? So the powers that, that you see right now, the spiritual wickedness in high places, okay, the ones that you, you can't touch, which a lot of you people don't understand things, okay? The Lord, the Lord set those things up. Set those people up. It says the powers that be are ordained of, of God. Y'all about to see me outside. So, so a man that comes into this truth, and you think, oh, I just have a problem with all. The, I had a problem with all the uh, the white people. You, you, you lack understanding, man. The Lord set those people up. Okay, the scripture says that Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. We know that Esau is just the devil that the so-called that 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 the Lord. Made him to be. It says, Whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of God. Of y'all by some y'all side. Now, are we sitting up here telling you to just have a straight up slave mentality? No. But you have to understand that, you know, we still slaves. But the, the, the thing is that we supposed to have faith in the Lord that He's gonna He's gonna deliver us from, from the, out of this situation. It says, and they that resist rece shall receive to themselves damnation. Okay, so you want to resist to get what the what what uh the so-called white man has established that the Lord gave them the, the power to, to do. Well, guess what? The Lord they they're gonna they have the potential to, to, to kill you or put you to death. Okay? And then you find out that you you sitting up there thinking that you you being a martyr for the Lord, but you actually a two third. Okay, Proverbs twenty eight and thirteen. He that covers his sins shall not prosper. And how how are you covering your sins by blaming everything on the white man? Okay, that's how you doing it. You using the, the so called white man is is a problem with you know for for everything when you don't understand that you may be the the, the problem. Your way of thinking is the problem. It says, but whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. Okay? How how do you confess and forsake them? By by clinging on to the, the Lord. Because the Lord, the Lord is our peace. Okay? You people are trying to find peace in, in every other other thing. Peace and just fighting the, the so-called white man. It's peaceful. You know, bringing out bringing out this truth. And being around um, sincere brothers. Okay? This ain't no bang on the, 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 the uh, white man. Uh, in this truth, man. Okay? In the, in, the, in, the, in the kingdom, yeah, they're going into slavery. Because that's what the scriptures say. But but that nigga who, 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 you know, basically went back into the world. Because he, he had this so-called hatred for the so-called white man. Okay? And now he don't hate Esau no more. The Lord going to destroy him because he don't understand anything. It's, it's 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. It says, prove all things and hold fast that which is good. Okay? And and the the, the scriptures go into, hey, how, how the so-called white man is. That the so-called white man, it says an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Okay? All these man-made traditions to go against the, the, the truth and, and what the Lord ordained things to be. Okay? Once you come into this truth, you're supposed to realize like, yeah, 
I know I'm an Israelite. That's that's a good thing. What's what's good from out of being an Israelite? The fact that the promises that are in the scriptures, okay, is is catered towards me and, and our people. Okay, then what? It's other things you know. You know the name of the Lord, the being a being an Israelite. Okay. If you if you're of his chosen, the Lord gives you his secrets. And then another thing that's good, you know who 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 uh the so called white man is. And that the Lord is the one who's in control of everything. Okay? Because the so called white man isn't better than us in any shape, form, or fashion. That's why the scriptures talk about the uh it's in Job that uh the lowest the, the basis of men. Okay? That the, that's who the Lord um that's who the Lord uh set it up. Well uh it's also in the book of uh Daniel, okay, of the basis basis of men. But Job Job also said it itself. Okay? It's Job thirty and eight. They were children of fools, yeah, children of base men. They were more they were violent than the earth. We know that that's talking about the so-called white man. The Lord's people on this planet. This is uh, Proverbs 33 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. So you gotta look, who is the oppressor? The scriptures, the scriptures in um, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, and at the end of the day, you go back into the world and you say the so-called white man ain't your, your, your enemy, he's your friend. Okay? You, you, you just lost everything, man. Okay? If you even had anything at all. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Solely oppression makes a wise man mad. Okay? And a gift destroys the heart. So it says, Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. And a lot of you people, okay, y'all choosing the so-called white man's ways, okay? Yeah, it, you know when a when a devil does devilish things, we just know that that's how that's how the Lord uh, made him out to be, okay? The Lord made the so-called white man to be Satan, okay? The physical counterpart, okay? So-called white man is our enemy. Okay, but he's not the, the the blame for for your faults. Okay, so with that man, I'm gonna just say uh, Salawam.